Welcome back to the Daniel Show, you guys, and I'm your host, Daniel. And today we are commemorating the one year anniversary of COVID 19. Congrats, you guys. You made it a whole year. I mean, we have someone else to thank also. And that is our helpful president. I mean, with him, we do we do have over 15 million cases reported. He has tackled this pandemic like no other leader. I mean, what you expect? He did t- say he was going to put America first and he kept his promise. Okay, okay. I'll cut him some slack because he did start creating COVID-19 tests for our people even though he declined some from the World Health Organization. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. He told us, he told us that the that the pandemic was going to end in the spring, but it still stayed. But that, that, that doesn't matter either because he created a coronavirus task force. And guess who is the leader of that task force? His second in command, Mike Pence. Yes, yes, yes. The man that doesn't even believe in science is leading the Corona Task Force. You know, looking back at this pandemic, I feel like the president could have done things a little differently. He could have forced us to wear masks, but instead, you know, we had to keep our freedom. And he told us to drink bleach, you know, because drinking bleach is better than apparently wearing a mask. Sometimes with the funny man like Trump, you just can't tell when he is cracking a joke or he's just being serious. Like the time he went on national television and and the reporter told him to rate how he has tackled the pandemic and he told them that he tackled him he tackled the pandemic a 10 out of a 10. Well, he tackled it so good that him and 26 members of his cabinet got the virus also. But, 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 but we know, we know that Trump did this all on purpose because he wanted to show America that the virus, that we have nothing to worry about the virus. Even though he carried around a ventilator in his pocket, but we still had nothing to worry about because it's, because he, he told us. Now, you might be thinking that we should blame Trump for the pandemic. And I think you are completely wrong. You just, you can't just blame Trump. You gotta blame his whole administration. They were the one backing everything up. And then the one that, they're the ones that put us in this mess. So... Yeah, you just you can't blame one man. You gotta blame the whole administration. Thank you, and now stay safe.